Good evening, it's almost 6.30pm on Sunday the 27th of November 2022. We are on the first Sunday in Advent, so a month from today, Christmas Day. So we are going to have a wonderful prayerful month and I'm going to pray the following prayers for Nanny Nan and any other families and people who have hiccups in the family. And some have more than hiccups as I do in my own. <laughs> so um, I'll just pray a couple of prayers before I explain. Prayer to my guardian angel. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night be at my side, to light to God, to rule and guide. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Lord, save me or I perish. Keep me close to you by your grace, or I shall sin and fall away from you. Jesus, help me. Mary, help me. My holy angel, watch over me. In trouble, in all things, may the most holy, the most just, and the most lovable will of God be done, praised and exalted above all for ever. Your will be done, O Lord, your will be done. The Lord has given, the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm going to pray favourite prayers to Saint Joseph. Our saints, great saints, have assured us that Saint Joseph can assist us in needs of every kind. Nevertheless, he is particularly known for help in family problems. And I have enough in mine, and I'm sure some of you do. Financial needs, protection of purity, defence against dangers matters involving work or housing and as patron of a happy death. Here are all the famous beloved prayers to St. Joseph, including the Novena to St. Joseph, prayer to obtain a special favour, litany to St. Joseph, 30 days of prayer, memorari to St. Joseph, so obviously I'm not going to get all these done in one night, Nanny Nan, but some of them. Ancient prayer to St. Joseph, found in the 50th year of our Lord. Prayer for purity. Prayer to obtain a conversion. Prayer for a happy death. Prayer in a difficult problem, which I will look for that. Litany for a dying person. The chaplet of St. Joseph. The cord of St. Joseph and much more. This is a wonderful treasury of prayers and devotions for obtaining great favours from God through St. Joseph's powerful intercession. I just bought that specially in the week, but I have had these booklets in the past. I probably gave it away because I probably recorded them already somewhere. <laughs> Lord knows where they are, probably on some hard drive. Feast of St. Joseph of March the 19th. He made him the lord of his household and the prince over all his possessions. Saint Joseph, foster father of our Lord Jesus Christ, most chaste spouse of the Blessed Virgin. Herbert Cardinal Vaughan, Archbishop of Westminster's words. Go to Joseph. Of old it was said, to the needy and suffering people in the kingdom of Egypt, go to Joseph and do all that he shall say to you. Genesis 41, 55. The same is now said by the sovereign pontiff to all needy and suffering people in the kingdom of the church. Go to Joseph. So that's what I'm recommending for you, Nanny Nan, and I'll pray these all for you today. What was truly said of the first Joseph as to his future and as to his goodness, his chastity, his patience, his wisdom, his influence with the king, 
his power over the people and his love for his brethren is verified much more perfectly even to this day in the second Joseph, the husband of Mary, spouse, betrothed. I'll do the litany. It's the first thing that's I've opened my eyes and I like litanies. Litany of Saint Joseph. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Ghost, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Illustrious Son of David, pray for us. Light of Patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste Guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Watchful Defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most valiant, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of workmen, pray for us. Glory of home life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Solace of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Spare us, O Lord, Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in thine ineffable providence did spouch safe to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of thy most holy mother. Grant we beseech thee that he whom we venerate as our protector on earth may be our intercessor in heaven, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. I'll only do the first day. I, I will do the others privately. I won't be doing them publicly. The novena. It's a nine-day prayer to St. Joseph. O glorious St. Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, to thee do we raise our hearts and hands to implore thy powerful intercession in obtaining from the benign heart of Jesus all the helps and graces necessary for our spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special favour we now implore. Sort out all broken marriages and marriages that are going through difficult times, Lord. And especially, um, some marriages become difficult through illness of one or other of the spouses. So in this instance, I pray for Nanny Nan, a guardian of the word incarnate. We have confidence that thy prayers on our behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. Amen. And then I'll say the following seven times in honour of the seven sorrows and joys of Saint Joseph. O glorious Saint Joseph, through thy love for Jesus Christ and for the glory of his name, 
hear our prayers and obtain our petitions. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, assist us. The Memorare to St. Joseph Remember, O most pure spouse of the Virgin Mary, St. Joseph, my beloved patron, that never has it been heard that anyone invoked thy patronage and sought thine aid without being comforted. Inspired by this confidence, I come to thee and fervently commend myself to thee and Nanny Nan. I despise not my petition, dear foster father of our Redeemer, but accept it graciously. Amen. And one of my favourite saints, the testimony of Saint Teresa of Avila. I took for my patron and lord the glorious Saint Joseph and recommended myself earnestly to him. I saw clearly that both out of this my present trouble and out of others of greater importance relating to my honour and the loss of my soul, this my father and lord delivered me and rendered me greater service than I knew how to ask for. I cannot call to mind that I ever asked him at any time for anything which he has not granted. And I'm filled with amazement when I consider the great favours which God has given me through this blessed Saint Joseph, the dangers from which he has delivered me both of body and of soul. That's in her autograph, auto, 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 autobiography, 6, number 9. Another memorari to St. Joseph. Remember, O most illustrious patriarch St. Joseph, on the testimony of St. Teresa, thy devoted client, that never has it been heard that anyone invoked thy protection or sought thy mediation, who has not obtained relief in this confidence, I come before thee, my loving protector, chaste, spouse of Mary, foster father of the saviour of men and dispenser of the treasures of his sacred heart. Despise not my earnest prayer, but graciously hear and obtain my petition on behalf of Nanny Nan and my own family. Let us pray, O God, who in thine ineffable providence didst vouchsafe to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of thy most holy mother, Grant, we beseech thee, that he whom we venerate as our protector on earth may be our intercessor in heaven, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. And a prayer to obtain a special favour. O blessed Saint Joseph, tender-hearted Father, faithful guardian of Jesus, chaste spouse of the Mother of God, we pray and beseech thee to offer to God the Father, his divine Son, bathed in blood on the cross for sinners, and through the thrice holy name of Jesus, obtain for us from the eternal Father the favour we implore. Peace in all families, those listening, and my own family and nanny nans. Appease the divine anger so justly inflamed by our crimes. Beg of Jesus mercy for thy children. Amid the splendours of eternity, forget not the sorrows of those who suffer, those who pray, those who weep. Stay the almighty arm which smites us, that by thy prayers and those of thy most holy spouse, the heart of Jesus may be moved to pity and to pardon. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. The words of St. Thomas Aquinas. Some saints are privileged to extend to us their patronage with particularly efficacy in certain needs, but not in others. But our holy patron, St. Joseph, has the power to assist us in all cases, in every necessity, in every undertaking. So we beg him to pray for us and our intentions. Nanny Nan and all families in distress, including my own. And St. Teresa's guarantee, the words of St. Teresa of Avila. 
To other saints, our Lord seems to have given power to succor us in some special necessity. But to this glorious saint, I know by experience, he has given the power to help us in all. Our Lord would have us understand that as he was subject to Saint Joseph on earth, for Saint Joseph bearing the title of father and being his guardian could command him. So now in heaven, our Lord grants all his petitions. I have asked others to recommend themselves to Saint Joseph and they too know the same thing by experience. The 30 days prayer to St. Joseph for any special intention. Healing in families is a pet one. Ever blessed and glorious St. Joseph, kind and loving father, and helpful friend of all in sorrow, thou art the good father and protector of orphans, the defender of the defenceless, the patron of those in need and sorrow. Look kindly on my request for Nanny Nan and all others. My sins have drawn down on me the just displeasure of my God, and so I am surrounded with unhappiness. To thee, O loving guardian of the family of Nazareth, do I go for help and protection. Listen then, I beg of thee, with fatherly concern, to my earnest prayers, and obtain for me the favour I ask. And here you make your request, Nanny Nan, and I make it for her and all other families, including my own. I ask it by the weariness and suffering thou didst endure, when thou didst find no shelter at the inn of Bethlehem for the Holy Virgin, nor a place where the Son of God could be born. Then, being everywhere refused, thou hadst to allow the Queen of Heaven to give birth in the world's Redeemer in a cave. I ask it by the loveliness and power of that sacred name, Jesus, which thou didst confer on the adorable infant. I ask it by that painful torture thou didst feel at the prophecy of Holy Simeon, which declared the child Jesus and his holy mother, future victims of our sins and of their great love for us. I ask it through thy sorrow and pain of soul, when the angel declared to thee that the life of the child Jesus was sought by his enemies. From their evil plan thou hadst to flee with him and his blessed mother into Egypt. I ask it by all the suffering, weariness and labours of that long and dangerous journey. I ask it by all thy care to protect the sacred child and his immaculate mother during thy second journey. When thou wert ordered to return to thine own country, I ask it by thy peaceful life in Nazareth, where thou didst meet with so many joys and sorrows. I ask it by thy great distress, when the adorable child was lost to thee and his mother for three days. I ask it by the joy at finding him in the temple and by the comfort thou didst find at Nazareth while living in the company of the child Jesus. I ask it by the wonderful submission he showed in his obedience to thee. I ask it by the perfect love and conformity thou did show in accepting the divine order to depart from this life and from the company of Jesus and Mary. I ask it by the joy which filled thy soul when the Redeemer of the world, triumphant over death and hell, entered into the possession of his kingdom and led thee into it with special honours. I ask it through Mary's glorious assumption and through the endless happiness thou hast with her in the presence of God. O oh, good Father, I beg of thee, by all thy sufferings, sorrows and joys, to hear me and obtain for me what I ask. 
So here mention your petition, Nani Nan, or think of them. Obtain for all those who have asked my prayers everything that is useful to them in the plan of God. Finally, my dear patron and father, be with me and all who are dear to me in our last moments that we may eternally sing the praises of Jesus, Mary and Joseph. A blameless life, O Saint Joseph, may we lead by thy kind patronage from danger freed. Amen. And a prayer for purity. O guardian of virgins and holy father, Saint Joseph, into whose faithful keeping were entrusted Christ Jesus, innocence itself, and Mary, virgin of virgins, I pray and beseech thee by these dear pledges, Jesus and Mary, that being preserved from all uncleanness, I may with spotless mind, pure heart and chaste body ever serve Jesus and Mary most chastely all the days of my life. Amen. And St. Teresa's plea, so the words of St. Teresa of Avila. Would that I could persuade all men to be devoted to the glorious St. Joseph, for I know by long experience what blessings he can obtain for us from God. I have never known anyone who was truly devoted to him and honoured him by particular services, who did not advance greatly in virtue, for he helps in a special way those souls who commend themselves to him. It is now very many years since I began asking him for something on his feast, March 19th, and have always received it. If the petition, petition was in any way amiss, he rectified it for my greater good. I ask for the love of God, that he who does not believe me will make the trial for himself, and then he will find out by experience the great good that results from commending oneself to this glorious patriarch and being devoted to him. The Prayer to St. Joseph the Workman, this was composed by Pope Pius X. O glorious St. Joseph, model of all those who are devoted to labour, obtain for me the grace to work conscientiously, putting the call of duty above my natural inclinations, to work with gratitude and joy, in a spirit of penance, for the remission of my sins, considering it an honour to employ and develop by means of labour the gifts received, from God to work with order, peace, moderation and patience, without ever shrinking from weariness and difficulties, to work above all with purity of intention, and detachment from self, having always death before my eyes, and the account that I must render of time lost, of talents wasted, of good omitted, of vain complacency in success, so fatal to the work of God, all for Jesus, all through Mary, all after thine example, O Patriarch St. Joseph, such shall be my watchword in life and in death. Amen. The words of St. Avila, Teresa of Avila, on St. Joseph and those devoted to in prayer. Those persons who give themselves to prayer should in a special manner always have great devotion to Saint Joseph, for I know not how anyone can think of the Queen of Angels during the time that she suffered so much with the infant Jesus without giving thanks to Saint Joseph for the assistance he rendered to them then. He who cannot find anyone to teach him how to pray 
let him take this glorious saint for his guide and he will not lose his way. A powerful novena to Saint Joseph. This novena has proven to be highly efficacious. It seems to be pleasing to Saint Joseph and helpful to souls. This form of novena was originally devised by the celebrated Father Louis Lallemant, S.J., in 1587 to 1633. It has proved particularly effective in obtaining favours through the intercession of Saint Joseph in the life of this saintly priest and great master of the spiritual life to whom Saint Joseph never refused anything he asked. The story is told that on one occasion he urged two young priests to make this novena, promising that they would obtain everything they asked through the intercession of Saint Joseph, if in turn they would show him special honour and spread devotion to him among others. Both did as Father Lalamont suggested. One of them asked for grace to speak and write worthily of our Lord. But the next day he came to Father Lalamont to tell him that upon reflection he wished to ask for a different grace, which he considered more conducive to his perfection. For Lalamont replied, It is too late now to ask for another grace. The first one has already been granted. This grace was conspicuously displayed throughout the whole course of the priest's life as he became one of the most noted preachers and writers of his day. How to make this novena? No particular prayers need be said for this novena. Every day for nine days, Nanny Nan, turn to St. Joseph in spirit, four times during the day, and honour him in the following four points. These visits may be made anywhere, at home, at work, on the street, in the car or bus, at any time. One, that means just take time out. During the first visit, consider St. Joseph's fidelity to grace. Reflect upon the action of the Holy Ghost in his soul. At the conclusion of this brief meditation, thank God for so honouring St. Joseph and ask through his intercession or a similar grace. Two, later in the day, consider St. Joseph's fidelity to the interior life. Study his spirit of recollection. Think, thank God, and ask. Three, later still, consider St. Joseph's love for Our Lady. Think, Thank God and ask. Four. Finally, in a fourth visit, reflect upon St. Joseph's love for the Divine Child. Think, thank God and ask. The prayer which may be said at the conclusion of the visits. And these prayers are adapted from Reflections for a Novena to St. Joseph by Sister Emily Joseph, CSJ. So I'm going to read each one out. There's four of them. And you name your request at, the re your request at the end of each one. O oh my God, I thank thee and bless thee for St. Joseph's great faithfulness to grace. 
grant that through his loving intercession and the power of his example, I too may be faithful to grace. O oh, St. Joseph, intercede for me and obtain for me the favour I ask. So you ask that favour for your husband, him to be healed. O oh my God, this is the second one, I thank thee and Joseph. I thank thee and bless thee for St. Joseph's great faithfulness to the interior life. Grant that through his loving intercession and the power of his example, I too may be faithful to the interior life. O oh, St. Joseph, intercede for me and obtain for me the favour I ask. So, Nani Nan, name your request there. Third, O oh my God, I thank thee and bless thee for St. Joseph's great love for Our Lady. Grant that through his loving intercession and the power of his example, I too may truly love the Blessed Virgin Mary. O oh, St. Joseph, intercede for me and obtain the favour I ask. So there, Nanny Nan, you put your request in again. Number four. My O oh my God, I think thank thee and thee think and bless thee for the Saint Joseph's great love for the divine child. Grant that through his loving intercession and the power of his example, I too may truly love the child Jesus. O Saint Joseph, intercede for me and obtain the favour I ask. So you have to do all of that. Words of Our Lady to Venerable Mary of Agreda. The children of the world are ignorant regarding the privileges and rights which the Most High has conferred on my Holy Spouse and the power of his intercession with the Divine Master and with me. But I assure you, my daughter, that in heaven he is the most intimate with the Lord and has great power to avert the punishment of divine justice from sinners. In all trials seek his intercession because the Heavenly Father will grant whatever my spouse asks. On the day of judgment, the condemned will weep bitterly for not having realised how powerful and efficacious a means of salvation they might have had in the intercession of St. Joseph and for not having done their utmost to gain the friendship of the Eternal Judge. The next prayer to obtain a conversion we all have people we want converted, including in our own families. O glorious patriarch, St. Joseph, and who merited to be called just by the Holy Ghost, I urgently recommend to thee the soul of my, all of my three girls, which Jesus redeemed at the price of his precious blood. Thou knowest how deplorable the state and how unhappy the life of those who have banished this loving Saviour from their hearts and how greatly they are exposed to the danger of losing him eternally. Permit not, I beseech thee, that a soul so dear to me should continue any longer in its evil ways. Preserve it from the danger that threatens it. Touch the heart of this prodigal child and conduct him back to the bottom of the fondest, the bosom of the fondest of fathers. Abandon him not, I implore thee or her, till thou hast opened to him the gates of the heavenly city, where he will praise and bless thee 
throughout eternity for the happiness which he will owe to thy powerful intercession. Amen. I'm just looking through the book to see There's a devotion to the seven Sundays, prayers in honour of the seven sorrows and joys. There's prayer in difficult problem. I think we'll do that one for you. Um, yes, Nanny Nan. O glorious Saint Joseph, thou who hast power to render possible even things which are considered impossible. Come to our aid in our present trouble and distress. Take this important and difficult affair under thy particular protection that it may end happily. So the request is for you, Nanny Nan. The Lord knows your heart. He knows where you are and who you are. So we give this. O oh, dear St. Joseph, all our confidence is in thee. Let it not be said that we would invoke thee in vain, and since thou art so wonderful with Jesus and Mary, show that thy goodness equals thy power. Amen. Saint Joseph, friend of the Sacred Heart, pray for us. There's so many prayers in here. I'm just trying to find one. I think that I've done long enough. I haven't made a note of them, but I hope I remember which ones I've done and which ones I haven't. I think that's enough prayers because it's tending to make me feel very, very sleepy. I don't want to fall asleep praying at the computer. <laughs> God bless you, Manny Nan, and others who need those prayers. I will pray the rest, but I haven't marked them up. But um, hopefully I'll remember I went through the pages. <laughs> but I didn't make a note, so I won't be able to write any of them up. So I'll just upload it and bless you all. Thank you so much for listening. May God answer all your prayers. And it's worth looking for one of those booklets in a Catholic bookshop or go online I, f I bought mine at a church you might be lucky enough to find one at a church and buy it God bless you, thank you for listening, sending you peace of Christ and healing prayers God bless you all